Hi, it's nice to see you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are, however you're doing, however, whatever time it is, it is great to see you. So we're going to get into a little bit of a daily reading here. Understand, guys, please understand that this is a timeless message, okay? I'm not dating these, so whenever this resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment, yeah? Um, I really don't have an agenda or anything to say, so let's just get into this and see what messages we can pull for through for the collective today. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's get into this. Five shuffles. And please excuse me. <clears throat> I'm still dealing with all kinds of sinus stuff. Bleh. But I'm getting through it. <laughs> here we go. Five shuffles here. One. For the Patreon collective, what messages can we bring forward for the collective at this time, please, Spirit? This is two. What's going on with the collective at this time? All right, I'm going to start here, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. Something about this is pretty confusing. All right, you do have the Three of Wands. And when this card came out, this was the first card that came out. And it came out and that immediately I felt like you are on a really good path or the trajectory that you have going, the momentum that you have going, the speed at which you're moving down this path is really, really good, is really great. And, and honestly, that was the first thing I felt, and it feels awesome. But then the next card that came out here is this Seven of Swords. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? But what I'm hearing is you're deceiving yourself about something, okay? On this Three of Wands here, you also have the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Wands, all right? Some, for some of you, this is love. For some of you, there is somebody here that you have reconnected with and that's going in a very good direction is what Spirit just said. For others of you, this Three of Cups, this th okay, so for some of you, the Three of Cups, or some of us, excuse me. For some of us, the Three of Cups represents a, a, a reconnection and or reconciliation. This may just be with friends or, or it also could be with a romantic partner. For others of us, and or maybe con conjointly, this Three of Cups also represents a celebration, like spirit, and maybe even yourself, feeling like there's there's cause for celebration because this, this path that you're on, this trajectory that you have going, this momentum that you have going is really excellent, okay? Because what is happening on the on your journey right now or in your path right now whatever is happening it's connected to unconditional love it's connection to connected to love of self it's connected to love from source it feels like it, it's, it's almost as if um the love that is 
<laughs> I, I'm hearing perpetrated within this circumstance. I don't know if that's exactly the right term, but okay. It's like this is fueling your way forward. I, I'm getting this image of the love here being a direct stream from God source creator, from the universe coming in like a direct beam of pure unconditional love that is helping to fuel or satisfy the energy requirements of this path that you're walking this this trajectory that you're that you've got going or whatever and really what you need to do is just keep going persevere nine of wands so then so then okay then that kind of takes me to the seven of swords here there's something deceptive going on all right i do want to say overall energy right now is the king of wands to the five of wands Okay, well, I will say this. Overall energy right now is the king of wands. There's something worrisome here, and it's, it's in this seven of swords. Because this king of wands energy here feels like advice. Keep going, okay? Underneath the king of wands is the five of wands. Okay, all right, I'm getting it. The five of wands to the eight of pentacles. For some of us... The advice here at this point, or at least the overall energy that you need to know of in this situation is in fact this King of Wands here, okay? You need to just keep going. You need to remain confident in yourself. There's some sort of um, internal discrepancy or internal dialogue here, Five of Wands, that may be telling you that the efforts that you're taking here, Eight of Pentacles, are not quite enough. Some of you are deceiving yourselves in terms of asking or thinking or saying to yourselves, the work that I'm doing here, is that even enough? Is it even getting me where I want to go? And the message is very clear here. Yes, it is. Even though you may not necessarily see the fruits of this Eight of Pentacles labor that you've got going on here, it doesn't mean it's not working. It doesn't mean it's not providing you with a certain level of momentum. It doesn't mean it's not adding to what you're already going through or what you've already developed. Even if you can't see the physical representation of that yet, even if you can't see the physical results yet, on behalf of the universe, as far as the universe is concerned, hell yeah, this is working. Every little bit that you do, every little step that you take I'll be watching you. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> but it all adds up on behalf, as far as the universe is concerned, right? Nothing is wasted here when it comes to the universe. So let's talk about this Seven of Swords then. What's going on with this Seven of Swords here, please, Spirit? Interesting. Seven of Swords. The message here is it's time to step it up. It's time to step your game up. And I don't mean that in terms of like you're lacking, you're weak, you need to, you need to bulk up, you need to man up, you need to woman up, you need to bup up up. No. I what this feels like here is you're deceiving yourself in terms of thinking that you can't take it up a notch. What you have here now is the Queen of Wands. And I wanna start with this card first because the Queen of Wands, as I always say, is representing your divine alignment, is representing the energetic alignment, the um, energetic frequency that you hold that allows you to attract that which you desire, right? Okay, you're in direct alignment with what you know what it is that you want especially with that king of wands that was at the bottom of the deck. So in relation to what it is you are working on manifesting, working on attracting towards yourself, what the time, what, what time is it? It's time to step the game up. Literally speaking, you have the page of cups in reverse to the knight of cups upright. So you were starting out small here, Page of Cups. 
And that was the exactly that was the exact right thing to do, says Spirit. Because you have to start somewhere, right? You gotta dip your toes in the water. You gotta you you have an idea. Tiene una tiene una una idea. Sorry, I'm still trying to speak Spanish here. Tu tiene una una idea, see? Okay. And so you start out small. You start trying to figure it out. You start trying to do things towards it. You flesh it out a little bit. You create a product here. You create a product there. You get to blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. You're putting it out there. This is all figuratively speaking, but okay. You put it out there. You see what the results are. You're starting to gain some success. You're starting to gain some momentum. You're starting to understand a little bit more and a little bit more. And okay, okay, you're learning, you're growing, and that's great. And now you feel like, okay, I want to step it up here. I want to go from this page of cups to a knight of cups. I want to go, I just heard I want to go all in or I want to start making, putting, investing more time, energy, and effort into this. You can do that now. How you're deceiving yourself, seven of swords, is thinking you can't step it up from this page effort to the knight effort. You absolutely can. As a matter of fact, it's time to do so overall energy here six of wands oh oh six of wands to the queen of cups to the ten of pentacles look at this and what i want to say with this you guys is you are in direct alignment with this long-term situation whatever it is you're trying to create long term follow your heart follow your intuition follow the guidance from the universe here because I heard, I just heard, because this is all in lockstep. Oh, by the way, if you didn't understand what I was trying to say before, tu tiene una, una idea, you have an idea. Great. Move forward with it. And actually... The proper pronunciation would be, tu tienes una idea. But here in Puerto Rico, they drop a lot of the S's, so. <laughs> okay, anyway, <laughs> let's move forward. I want to get you some clarity here. Um, and really, what I, I, what I want to start with first is advice in how you can step this up. Yeah? Five shuffles here. Here we go. One. in stepping this up here. Overall energy is the lovers. First thing that I want to say, first thing I heard was the choice is yours. Mm -mm, okay. Um, okay. See, then now this is taking me back to the king of wands. Don't allow, don't hold yourself back. Okay. The choice is yours. And it's not, this is not speaking to a choice as to whether or not, um, or how it is you go about stepping that up. That's all going to be specific to you and your specific circumstances. But what the lovers represents here is a choice of vice or virtue. Vice being holding yourself back. Virtue being follow your heart and move forward in a greater way. Absolutely is your choice. All right, you do have a number of cards here. Five of them actually, and only one of them came out face up. It's the two of pentacles. And the first thing I heard with the two of pentacles is you learned a lot in this situation. And not only, ha okay, you've learned a lot in this situation, you've learned a lot about this situation. And where you're coming from right now is a place of, of, a, greater, of, of a greater understanding of how to balance the situation out. 
in the beginning of this project, this endeavor, whatever this is for you, you were literally learning how to balance the scales. And I'm not saying that, um, or balance the scales or balance the physicality of the situation, learning about the physical attributes, the physical elements of the situation, what it takes to do this, that, or third. Like, And I'm not saying this, that, and the third. And I'm not saying that you know everything ultimately, but with this two of pentacles, the feeling that I'm getting is that you have a greater understanding of how to take this to the next level because you have a greater intrinsic understanding of the situation. Okay. What are all these then? Fucking right. Fucking right, y'all. Eight of Swords. You're feeling, in some cases, you're feeling kind of trapped here. And those, and that feeling of that, that, that sense of entrapment is, I don't know if I can move forward. I don't know if I should move forward. Maybe it's not advisable. There may even be some people around you that may be thinking you should like take it back a notch or take it down a notch. Don't listen to that. It also could, it, it may not necessarily be specific people. I kind of, I'm kind of picking up on like, if you're on forums or if you're, if you're, I just heard if you're in a training program, um, or if you're doing research on the situation and you're listening to a bunch of advice from, you know, people that have done this before or experts in the field or whatnot, whatever, or, or people that have experienced this before, whatnot, I, I, I get this feeling that you might either be getting direct advice from certain individuals like directly to you or you're doing like a bunch of market research or some shit like that right but it's it's all of that third dimensional thinking type of stuff that's kind of holding you in this pattern that's holding you in this space of feeling like i don't know if i really should do this while your heart represented by that queen of cups energy while your heart is saying let's move forward let's do more let's dive deeper right eight of swords five of wands internal conflict which also could be exacerbated by external influence and i'm not saying don't go out there and do your research or listen to people that have been in the field or done this before but also listen to your own heart with that you have the knight of swords cut through that cut through that okay don't let don't 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 let this stop you Finally, you have the Eight of Wands. You could cut yourself free. If you allow yourself to follow your heart, you could literally go from this mental imprisonment of the Eight of Swords or feeling trapped or feeling blocked, okay? If you just cut all this superfluous bullshit out, bam, you find yourself at the Eight of Wands. And quite frankly, the Eight of Wands feels like the ultimate energy that you're in right now. This energies of feeling trapped here, that's all an illusion. You got to cut yourself free from that, okay? Because you have the clear and open pathway and your heart is telling you where to go, how to proceed. Okay. I like this, you guys. I really, really like this. Um, I want to get some clarity on you know, this energy here. The three of wands, three of cups, ace of cups, nine of wands. Just some clarity here and then we're going to close the message out with uh, some oracle guidance, yeah? Anything we want to say about this uh, path forward, please, Spirit? Three of Wands, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands. Yeah. Yes! Oh my God, you guys. So the first card that came out here is the eight of pentacles. And I heard you're doing a lot. You're doing the work. You really should be proud of yourself. Like you're really doing the hard work. Please keep going. And the next card that came out is the six of wands. You should be commended. You deserve to be commended. You are being commended for the hard work and the effort that you're putting into this. It's all paying off, even if you don't see it on the surface. Overall energy is the Page of Swords to the Ace of Cups. Okay, I'm going to start here because there's more. Page of Swords to the Ace of Cups. And remember, this Ace of Cups came out here, right? 
This was part of what we were clarifying. What this is saying, overall energy, eight, uh, page of swords, ace of cups, listen to what your heart is telling you. Listen to what the stream of unconditional love, un, uh, uh, listen to what the stream of the unconditionally loving energy or essence that is pouring into this, listen to what that is saying to you. Because that is directly speaking to your heart here. Pay close attention to the love, to the unconditionally loving consciousness that is that is streaming into your reality here. That is helping fuel or energize this path that you're on. Now, there's more. You have the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Oh, oh, okay. There is something here about this situation that is you going off the beaten path. And I think that's where actually where your heart is leading you to right now. You may have started something in a traditional manner, the Hierophant. And this could very well be speaking to uh, the outside advice that you're taking or being given. But it's time to let that go. Okay, I understand that you're 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 moving you're you're moving off the beaten path right now, and all you've got to do is just persevere with it because you are being led in the right direction. Take it slowly, one step at a time. Yes, keep in mind your end goal there, but don't focus so much on that. Keep that in. Keep that as the trajectory. That's where we're going. My ultimate goal here. That's where we're going. Okay. But focus on the steps that it takes to get there. And eventually you'll get there, right? But leave this energy of the Hierophant, the traditionalism, or whatever advice that you're getting. Either leave it behind completely or take it with a real small, with some real salt, like a real grain of salt here. <coughs> Excuse me. Because this traditionalism, something about this traditionalism is a lose-lose situation. Why? The only reason why is because that is a direct affront to exactly what it is you are in alignment with or what you're trying to actually manifest. You're not trying to manifest this from a traditional point of view. Maybe you've been able to start that way. That was, this traditionalism was a springboard for you. Excellent. Okay. But ultimately, it's not really gonna get you where you wanna go. It was a good way to start. This, your direct alignment, and what that alignment says to you, how that speaks to you, that's going to get you where you want to go. So focus there, okay? And then underneath the Queen of Wands, you have the Ten of Swords to the Sun, and then the Ten of Wands. Yo! And then Death. See? And then Justice. Bam. Justice even to the king of pentacles look at that all of this is saying stay in alignment with what it is you truly want okay you know what spirit doesn't want me to interpret that i'm going to i'm going to let you interpret this yourself i just don't remember where justice was so we're going to leave her right behind death all of this, keep in mind, all of this was under the Queen of Wands. Ten of Swords, the Sun, Ten of Wands, Death, Justice. Just take that in. Let your intuition speak on that for you, okay? Beautiful. Closing Oracle Guidance. From the Crystal Munzala deck. Oh, wait. Look at it. Yeah. Okay. Five shuffles here. One. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, for the collective. Three. Oops. Three.
<clears throat> oh, goodness. I need some use next or something. <laughs> All right, here we go. Closing our guidance, please, Spirit. Card number 35, Ascended Master Babaji and Diamond. So it shall be. You know, I haven't used this deck in maybe about a year. And I, I used, you guys, many of you remember, I used this for morning coffee when morning coffee was a thing on YouTube. I used to use this for morning coffee all the time. And I haven't used this, card, this deck in like about a year now. And it's still the same cards coming out for the collective. I love it. All right. So it shall be. We bring you the blessing of so it shall be. There are times where you will go through your life journey without any sign of what's going to happen. You may be working hard to heal an issue or build your dream and not really know if you are ever going to be successful. You may hope for the best, but not know whether you should really expect the worst. You may sense that the universe is asking you to trust in how things are going to turn out, and yet giving up your uncertainty is difficult. That usually means total and uncompromising commitment is difficult too. Where there is uncertainty, there is often hesitation and procrastination. Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on your dreams because you lack faith and therefore are holding yourself back from going for it with all you have within. So you are being given the blessing of divine decree, of absolute confirmation of success, and the divine granting of a wish fulfilled. Switch your thinking from possibility to inevitability. It is not a question of if, but when. Know that you are going to succeed and commit yourself completely. Don't hold back. Go for it with gusto. According to divine will, you shall manifest the highest expression of your divine destiny this lifetime. So it shall be. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastical day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very soon. Yes? Beauty bus. Bye. Peace. <laughs>